I was not going to be doing that. Now, what happened was we ended up agreeing initially that she would come and get demo weekends. And then, you know, she could do that and bring them back. However, that turned into, you know, a couple weekends and then you don't hear anything, you're kind of chasing her down. And that was that was that. So she has not been, excuse me, actively involved in that lives for the past 19, 19 years. Damn. Yep. Damn. Yep. Damn. So you made the right decision, brother. That's that's absolutely. That's, oh, that's I knew what I was doing. Man. I knew what I was doing. That, yes. That's high. I, I know young fathers who because you're looking at the future like I see the environment this woman may may produce for my children. Yes. And I got to be honest and say this ain't healthy for them. opposed to yep. being a selfish young man and saying, well, shit, she got to deal with it. She ain't mom. She got to deal with it. So, yeah. brother, that type of hindsight is necessary in all of us. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So so let me let me tell you this from when our first son was conceived, I went through every single prenatal visit. And I slept. The only time I left the hospital after my son was born was when I went to KFC to get chicken. Other than that, I slept in the hospital. My son was in the first son was in the NICU for um, like a week or so. And I stayed there. So that already I had it in. Me. It was just innate. So you go through all of that. There is absolutely no way you are, you know, abandoning your children. And then, like I said, add on top of that, some of the things that I knew, you know, what what she was doing and how she was and all of that. Mm -hmm. Even when even when we had separated, like I wasn't a hundred percent with it even for the weekends, but I'm like, you know, that's that's your mom. You know, I'm not gonna keep you away from your biological mom. I'm not gonna do that. But um she brought it upon herself and when we went to the uh when we went to the divorce hearing well when I went to the divorce hearing, she didn't show up and I was granted full custody off the rip. Mm. Mm. Damn. Yep. Damn. But that's good, brother. That's we need more men like you, man. Because I see a yeah. lot of young men in our community, and I can look at them and tell that their mother, because the mother's tongue is important, man. Like it, mm -hmm. how how young men treat their mom, and 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 how tough it can be for a woman who may not have everything together, and when a dude ain't there, that creates a lot of the negativity we see in our community with these young yeah. dudes. Of course, we got a system on our ass that does a lot to uh, disenfranchise our community. We got to be honest, sometimes when it's a mom who's not ready to give that tough love, who's not ready mm -hmm. to give that structure and that discipline, and there's no father there, it kind of fucks up our community completely. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I totally agree. And I'm, I feel good these days based on what I see in the group and how many young men I see that say, look, I'm getting ready to have my first child. So already with that, the commitment, you're there, you're involved, and on top of that, you're coming to this group because you know that's a place where you can learn and get advice and all of that stuff. So I have to take my hats off to a lot of young fathers out here, and I'm just appreciative that we have this platform, and I don't, I don't ever mind Toot my own horn, the Black Fathers Facebook group. Yes. So if you know, for these young men that are coming and saying, I'm about to have my first child, it's it's really exciting mm -hmm. to see them being so excited about it and so committed. And that and that's important. And you make a great point because that's the start of it. When a woman tells you she's pregnant, and for however it came about, when she tells you she's pregnant, typically once it settles in, your mentality about the situation gets established. Am I going to mm -hmm. run with this? Am I going to be uh, not sure about her? So that's going to make right. me back off of the kids. You're right. When you see a dude who commit fully, you know in the back of your mind, when things get tough, he's mm -hmm. going to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that love, that love will let you leave. And that's the thing about it. It's, 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 it's different. Even if you got the struggle, you know, your baby mom could be a whole total bitch and a half <laughs> but when you love that child yes. you're committed to that child you're gonna fight through all of that tooth and nail to be involved in your child's life yes and that's why i tell young dudes like i just because you have a baby and that baby has your last name there won't be a bond created just because you're a kid you have to right. put in the time. And sometimes yep. you have a young dude where the mom, you know, the mothers bring the baby home, live with they, the kid, the kids live with the mom typically. You got to make mm -hmm. it a point to infuse yourself in your kids' lives. And when you do yeah. it early enough, it sets it up for the rest of their life. 
anything can happen. Yeah. You yeah. can love this yeah. person. You're not going to ultimately love this person just because you just because you're the father. You got to be around them. <laughs> right, right, you right, right. Them. You got to go through the change in the diapers. You got to go through the simulac. You got to do all this stuff. That creates mm -hmm. a love. And sometimes when I see a dude who got a 12 or 13 year old that he don't fuck with, and somebody can say, how, why? Well, he's never been around the kid. Mm -hmm. Never changed the diaper. Not in the same mm -hmm. city. That's just a person with your last name. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. It's like my wife and I watched Married, with, Married at First Sight. I don't know if you ever watched I it. Don't, I see. But it's the same kind of deal. <laughs> you just throw two people together that ain't never known each other, and then they talking about, do you love me? Like, I barely know you. So, yeah, <laughs> I understand. Totally. <laughs> you know what I mean? Relationships yes. about consistency and getting yeah. all relationships. You can't have a solid relationship yeah. with nobody you don't fuck with. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And something else you mentioned, like in your Facebook group, and even my podcast that I have, and everything I do on my platform, because I like sports. Shit. I like fat mm -hmm. ass. <laughs> but I don't want to talk <laughs> about these things. And, and, and right. no, I, I prefer to talk about what's going on with our community, What's going like? What's going on with a man as a parent? Talk to me about your son. Is he walking yet? Is he mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We together? And as I've become a more of a conscious man, I've had to make adjustments. Like I don't watch sports as much as I used to. I love them, right. but in a group of men, I don't really want to talk about sports as much. So I got to make adjustments because, like you just said, that's kind of all we focus on when we're yes. in with each other. So to get so to get men to open up, which they will to get them to open up about their kids and what's going on, that's when the real work starts to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, no doubt about it. Um, and, yeah, I ain't knocking sports or fat asses. I like both of them myself <laughs> as well, you know. But there's so many other things to talk about, you yes. know, that, that we need to incorporate as well. And especially. And, and And the thing about it is I see, I see so many – changes what I, I believe i like to call the, the the evolution that we go through and there and there are a few of them that i see but the more that we talk about these kind of subjects and the more that we are very transparent we start to change people's thinking because you know people think one way it's all